welcome to Bella's Crochet Gifts. I'm Bella. All right, so today I have a little bit of a yarn haul for you. Um, I got some yarn from Expression Fiber Arts. Um, they have a website. I will link it down below. I got that yarn for Valentine's Day, and then I also was at Hobby Lobby the other day, and I was like, hmm. Let's see if anything sparks my interest, and I found a few things, so I'm going to share that with you as well. So we'll start with this gorgeousness. Um, I have ordered from uh, Expression Fiber Artists before, and they had some yarn that was just beautiful. And it didn't have any wool in it. So I'm like, yay! <laughs> All right. So I got a total of six hanks of yarn. Let's see. Here's a little thank you. And thank you for your order. We hope you love our products. Happy stitching your friends at Expression Fiber Art. There we go. Put that down. Well, put that right there. Hopefully I won't lose it. <laughs> all right. So I got all the same kind of yarn. And let me tell you about it. Oop, already has my hair on it. <laughs> so, ooh, that's an interesting word. ephemeral ephemeral fingering this is 69% Peruvian cotton and 31% uh, lyocell it is 500 meters or 548 yards uh, per 100 grams it calls for knitting needles of US 0 to 7 and a crochet hook of B to G and it says hand wash lay flat to dry this is the color Madison so let you see that oh it's very very soft it's very squishy um let me see if I can find a loop for you we go it is a one weight um yeah I would probably consider it a one one or two especially for that amount of yardage I think it's gonna be gorgeous so I tried to pick colors that I thought would go together and this one and one other one were slightly different from the colors that I could see on the website and everything else seemed pretty true to color so this one has a little bit more of a almost a green undertone I thought it was more true charcoal and then this one it is the color uh Jinan Gianna Gianna maybe So, at least in the camera, it is showing kind of a gray-blue. Um, it almost looks periwinkle in person. Like, I thought it was going to be more the gray-blue color, like, that I'm seeing in the camera itself. But, yeah, it, it's leaning more purpley blue than, uh, like, blue-blue. And I was going to put those two together. I'm not sure if I'm loving it as much as I was in their pictures they're still beautiful and I love them but I just feel like it was not quite the color I thought it was gonna be so uh, there's those two and with what 548 yards each I mean that could be a really big shawl <laughs> like a really big shawl and then the next one is the color Mia 
There we go. And it is this beautiful light. It's like almost a, oh, I'm mesmerized. In the light, this, it has a tiny silk strand around it or lyosil strand around it. And it's like reflecting the light. It's so very pretty. I don't know if you can see that right there but it's reflecting and oh it's just like mesmerizing but this is like the like kind of in the teal family but like dusky like light and dusky and oh it's so pretty and i got this one to go with it this is a uh, heidi right there so i thought those would be so beautiful in some form of color work. These were all meant to be shawls. <laughs> like that, that was like what I was thinking, especially with that amount of yardage. But oh, oh, they are so very pretty. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. Oh, and they're so soft. So very soft. And then... I was thinking Christmas <laughs> for Valentine's Day, apparently. So this is the color Bailey. It is a slightly green tinted color. It's actually showing up brighter on the camera than what I'm seeing in real life. But oh, it's so pretty. And then this one is Finley. And it is a very dark dark burgundy red gorgeous wouldn't that be just so very pretty and these were all uh made in peru so made in peru oh so pretty and they're so soft so that is what i got from expression fiber arts mm. it's so nice okay and then, like I said, I was at Hobby Lobby and I picked up a few yarns. Okay, so this one caught my eye. I hadn't seen it before. I don't know if it was there before or if I just missed it. So this is Yarn B Dream Supreme. Right there. This is gorgeous, deep dark blue. Um, what is your name? Aegean. It is Aegean. Um, so this is a super bulky number six. It is eight ounces, 227 grams, 144 yards or 132 meters. It is 100% uh, premium micro acrylic. It looks like you can wash up to 30 degrees, uh, lay flat to dry, do not iron. And it calls for eight millimeter uh, needles and a seven millimeter crochet hook. It so regular price is $8.99. Um, I did get it for the 30% off. And this was made in Turkey. So it is very, very fluffy. Very soft. I've, I've been on a, a hat kick lately. So I'm thinking hats. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Me and hats. <laughs> Alright, so there was that one. It's the only one I got of that. Had some fiber going. Ooh, excuse me. Then I slipped over to their. I love this chunky. I got three colorways to share with you. Let's see, where's the third one? There we go. So this is the first one. And I was kind of going to compare it a little bit to the Premier, what was that called? Uh, 
what was that called? I just made a headband out of it. I'll put it up here. I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but it was very similar to this. It was a size five. This is also a size five. So this is the, I love this chunky. Uh, it was 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, 109 yards or 100 meters, 100% 100 acrylic. It calls for six millimeter needles and 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, machine washable and dryable. Uh, regular price was $4.99. And this is the color Still Water. And it was also made in Turkey. So I thought that was really pretty. I, ooh, it's like so, oh, just like the lightest, like gray, blue, green with some speckles. Oh, I love that. Very pretty. And then the next one, I just, I was just drawn to it. I, I think I saw this one first and I was like, ooh, I want to see it. Oh, it's got a thing that shows how it works up. So that's the knit, how it works up knit. And then this is the same stats. It is called Plum Garden. So it's got the like the plum to almost a burgundy-ish color. It's got some denim blue and some gray, grayish bits or speckles in it. And supposedly it looks like that worked up. So I was like, ooh, that's so pretty. I want that. <laughs> and then, so, I had a third one that is called Saturn's Rings. Oop, let me in. And the reason, it's this color. And the reason it is like that is because I already made it into a hat. Oh, it turned out so pretty. There we go. So this is my modified Ross hat. So it's got the two by two rib and then my rapid decrease. And then I just sewed the top together. It's a little chunkier. I probably should have tried to decrease one more set of rows, but that's okay. Like it fits nicely. Let me see. There we go. So there we have you. There we have it. <laughs> a nice Ross hat. And I love this colorway. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. It's got like the dark teal and like this coppery color. It's got like the gray, tan, brown brown bits but oh this teal is just oh so pretty like the teal and the and this dark blue are just so very gorgeous I love that oh so pretty all right so <laughs> those were my yarn hauls um I hope you enjoyed I don't know if I'm going to start something right away. I do have quite a few things in the works right now, so I, I probably should focus on those, but we'll see. <laughs> you know how I am. I, I'm kind of like the, the squirrel. <laughs> I get distracted by many different projects and many different yarns, so we'll see how it goes. But that's where I am at for right now. Um, I have a movie marquee video coming out probably in the day next day or two and then I also have uh works in progress and finished objects works and yeah I do have some finished objects I've been like I have a lot of works in progress because 
I'm having my, my squirrel moments, <laughs> but you will see those very soon. I hope you are doing well. Uh, it is kind of warm right now. I think we're in the 50s or 60s, so that's nice. <laughs> I finally got the, uh, the Christmas lights taken off the house, so that's good. <laughs> uh, yeah, my husband's like, if you hadn't done it, I was going to remind you in, in March. <laughs> I was like, I did it. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day or night or whatever it is. I hope it's wonderful. Bye.